in this session we will create flange coupling assembly so first part is the flange so we will so name the part as flange select sketch tool select vertical plane as the sketch plane profile tool let us create the shape of the revolving feature which will give us the flange so this is 25 and this length is 125 25 and 125 next this distance or radius of revolution is 50 because diameter is 100 for that hole Next is this one. It is one twenty four. So one twenty four divided by two will be the radius of rotation. And last one is two two zero diameter. So 220 divided by 2 will be the radius of rotation. Okay. Next I will align this edge 220 divided by 2. Then let us align this edge with this vertical axis using constraint of coincidence. Sketch is green, it is fully constrained. Exit the workbench. Use the shaft command and select the horizontal axis as the axis of rotation so this is the flange select this as the sketch plane and select sketch tool and circle diameter of the circle is 192 we are drawing this pitch circle on which these holes are located so 192 and this is 192 and this circle is concentric with this this circle is concentric with this so let us apply the constraint of concentricity I will convert this into construction element a circle for the hole diameter of hole is 20 so let us change the value to 20 now center of this hole lies on this vertical axis we will apply the constraint of coincidence and this hole is on this pitch circle center of this hole now it is green I can exit the workbench remove the material using pocket tool up to last ok next select that hole and we will make use of circular pattern from transformation toolbar Change the parameter to complete crown and we want six features. Click in the reference elements and select this as the reference surface. So we have produced the six holes. Let us save this using the file name of flange in separate folder. Close start mechanical design part design now we will draw the bolt 
thing. So it is hexagonal board. So let us draw this feature first. Hexagonal. This dimension is thirty-five h to h. So sketch tool, horizontal plane as the sketch plane. Select hexagon tool from the profile toolbar. Place the hexagon. Dimension it. And this length is thirty-five. Okay. Exit. Add the material using pad tool. I will add the material on both sides of sketch plane using mirror extend option. Total depth of material addition is fifteen. So fifteen divided by two on each side of the sketch plane. Next, let us select this plane as the sketch plane. Sketch tool and select. Project 3D elements from operation toolbar. Select this edge and convert it to construction elements. Select profile tool. Draw one line. Dimension it with respect to this edge. Let us define the angle of 30. Then distance of this point from vertical axis. Let us say 18 is going out. So fifteen, sixteen. Okay. Now profile tool. Close this profile. Exit the workbench. Select groove, and select the vertical axis. Okay. Now select this as the sketch plane, sketch tool. Select circle. Center at the origin. Place the circle. Place the dimension. And now diameter of this is twenty. Change the value to twenty. Exit the workbench. Add the material using pad tool. Total depth of material addition is one zero five minus fifteen. One zero five minus fifteen. So this is the bolt. Let us save this in the same folder by the name of bolt. Close this. Start mechanical design part design. Now we will create the nut. Sketch tool. Horizontal plane or vertical plane. Now this is the hexagonal nut, and edge to edge dimension is thirty four point six. So select the hexagon tool, place the hexagon, dimension it, edge to edge. It is thirty four point six. There is one hole at the center. Its diameter is. It must be twenty s. Exit the workbench. Add the material using pad tool on both the sides of sketch plane. Total depth of material addition is twenty, so ten on each side of sketch plane. Now select X Y plane as the sketch plane. Then sketch tool. Project three D elements from operation toolbar. Project this H convert it to construction elements. Draw one line. Dimension this with respect to this projected edge. 
let us give the angle of 30 degrees then distance of this point from this axis let us say 14 I will increase it a little bit 15 it's okay make this vertical okay exit the sketcher and apply the groove command and select this axis Okay, we are done. Let us save this using the name of nut in the same folder. So we have produced all the parts. I will start with the assembly, go to mechanical design and select assembly design. Click on the name of assembly in the model tree, go to the properties, and let us change the name of this assembly as flange coupling apply ok now from product structure tools select existing components toolbar and click on the name of the assembly from the model tree then we will import the first component that is flange first component is always to be fully constrained using fixed component constraint from constraint toolbar let us check the degree of freedom so flange so there is no degree of freedom, flange 1 is fixed in the context of flange coupling, ok. Existing component, select the name of assembly, now we will import the flange one more time. Go to the manipulation tool in the move toolbar. So let us move this in this direction and in x direction. Okay. Select the coincidence constraint, this axis and this axis. Then say this axis. And this axis. Next, select the contact. We want this face in contact with this and update these three constraints. Correct. Let's import the bolt. So, select existing tool, existing component, then click on the name of assembly. Select bolt, select manipulation tool in Y direction, ok, ok, coincide this axis with this and contact constraint for this surface and this one and update the constraints let us hide the planes of this bolt. Okay. Now we will make use of existing pattern. So reuse pattern for this bolt and of 
this holds okay okay close let us try once again reuse pattern for this bolt for this hole apply okay now we'll import the nut so select existing components the name of assembly select nut manipulation tool say in y direction we'll move this I will move this in x direction Now, before applying the constraint to nut, we will hide the bolts. The bolt number two, hide. Go inside. So this axis with this. And contact we'll rotate this nut. Okay, this will contact with this. So contact this surface. With this and update the constraint okay now we'll make use of the existing pattern for this nut and this pattern apply okay now go back to bolt number two We'll hide the planes of all the nuts. So we are done with the assembly of flange coupling.